Here's Papa Playboys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys have been safe during this quarantine. Hopefully none of your family members or any of your loved ones are sick. I'm praying for you guys. Um, Florida so far is a uh, stay home uh, order, I think that's what it's called. So literally you're not supposed to be on the street and stuff. But since I am a healthcare worker, I'm, I got that little plug. I can just see, you know, you feel me? I can leave when I want. But yeah, man, let's jump into today's video. I'm finally doing something that I said I was gonna do like long ago. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys. Let's get it. As you guys can see, your boy finally purchased himself a downpipe. And this is a three inch downpipe. So uh, yeah, man, the car's gonna be a little bit louder finally. And also, I've been saying I was gonna get this part for the longest. Um, I got this part for like dirt cheap. Like I got this part for 120 shipped. Shout out to uh, Eric from uh, Facebook who helped me get this. But yeah, man, I'm happy, bro. Let's throw this bad boy on. notice what the heck am i wearing like you why do i got purple slides on with a camouflage pants and a gray and and like blue shirt on i'm going through something bro this quarantine got me messed up all right guys so let's jump into the install so what you want to do to get to your downpipe to remove those you know those bolts right there behind the engine you obviously have to take off your crawl your crow crawl something like that you gotta take this off and uh also your windshield wipers take those off and uh I'm not really going to show you guys how to do that. If you guys want to see how to do that, you guys can go on my my spark plug video where I like actually give you guys a tutorial on how to do that. It's, it's, a, it's a long process and I don't really feel like explaining everything, but I am going to fast forward through it if you guys want to watch that part. So, let's get it. So we got the crowbar, crowbar, and when I say we, I mean we. So yeah, we got it off, and now we took out the O2 sensor to remove the O2 sensor. You're gonna need O2 socket. Don't use anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't use anything else because you know you could bend your wire, and uh, you don't want that wire going bad. So yeah, you can take off the O2 socket. Make sure you remove the heat shield. The heat shield is, uh, I think it's 12 or 10. So try either of those. And then, uh, yeah, remove the heat shield. Take out your socket. I mean, take out your uh, O2 sensor. Make sure it doesn't touch anything that's wet because you want this to stay dry. So I put mine by my intake. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna remove those bolts right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ah, come on, focus. Focus. All right, there we go. So we're gonna remove those bolts right there. Well, nuts. So that one right there, there's another one on the other side, and there's two on the bottom. All right, guys, so once you remove those four bolts from the downpipe, the stock downpipe, it should literally be like simple. You have to head to the bottom of the car to get to, I don't know if I can zoom in to show you guys on that. The focus is those, yeah, right there. Yeah, you see them things. You gotta remove those things right there. The spring and the, and the, and the boat and the washer and all that bull crap. So, yeah, make sure you guys got some strong power. Make sure you got some manpower. That's why I got him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
all right guys so what we're doing right now is uh removing the three no we're removing the two uh bolt and spring and then uh we also removed the the three bolts that's connecting the uh down pipe like right there remove that so yeah they're right here and we're just working off the, the bolts right now and then uh we took off the bracket so you have to take off that bolt right there too all right guys so we got the down pipe out the stock down pipe but we ran into a little difficult problem our o2 sensor like socket got stuck on the o2 sensor so we wasn't able to take it off but uh at least we got this part off so now we're going to try to take that off and then uh, put it on everything on the new downpipe. Oh, also, I left the old, the old, uh, the old downpipe gasket on because I didn't buy a new one. But from what I've seen on like scuntu.com and stuff, it looked like they used the same old, like the old uh, gasket. So I'm going to use that and uh, just tying it really tight. I shouldn't have no leaks. I shouldn't. But yeah, that's really it. Now everything's easy now. Just got to put everything back and just bolt everything up. Let's get it. In the Civic with the vibe of the Malat. I'm mashing on the gas with a bitch of preaching that. Lord, please take the wheel. She smells like just a bell. She like what quit playing the Chanel. You got your weave out the window, I can tell. She bad, bad as she knows it. I mean, real bad, the hot frozen. We turn the heat up to that fog in. Make a back comb in the morning. And put my righteous deeds in the coffin. Like the back out for hot boxing. We had to switch to full of flame torches. Boy, if you don't. All right, guys. So we got the new downpipe in. Well, we got the Skunk Two downpipe in. It's uh sitting pretty, pretty nice. It had a small little leak, but I don't think it was a leak. I think it was just something burning on it. So I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, the smell smells bad because like it's basically a brand new downpipe. So the the coating inside the downpipe is like I don't know, it's evaporating. So car kind of stinks. But yeah, basically bolted everything back up. The same way you took off the old downpipe is the same way you want to put the new one on. Uh, it's The new one's going to be way simpler to put on. It's not going to be like a chaos trying to figure out if you should slide it this way, slide it that way. It's really simple. But yeah, man, I'm going to give you guys a little cold start. Well, it's not cold because I already started it. But yeah, I'm going to give you guys a little sound clip of how this bad boy sound because it's definitely way louder. But yeah, here goes the clip. Grab it. So now, down pipes in, all that stuff. Now we're gonna just put everything back and uh, bow everything so it could look nice and OEM again. All right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right? That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Right, Kev? Mm hmm. Right? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's my. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's the way the car sound. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I think it sounds pretty good. It's pretty loud, I'm not gonna lie. I do have a small leak, so it does make it sound a little bit raspy, but I feel like once I get that leak like figured out and get it fixed, I think the car's gonna sound nice and deep, but I, I really like it. It's really freaking loud, like super loud. But uh, yeah, man, that's gonna be it for the install. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we got somebody trying to run up on me. Yeah, what's happening, <laughs> Go Go grab that Zuby merch. Yes, that's sir. I'm there. I'm sorry. All right, y'all boys. Your boys out. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram. And I look black as hell. But yeah, peace.